Hi ladies, how are you? Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. Um, I just wanted to pop on here because I just received a message that reminded me about the power of your story. And I'm going to wait just a little bit. I'm going to have some chit chat. My son is napping at my mother's, which I am eternally grateful for in this moment. Um, and we were just playing at the park before. It's a beautiful day here in Newcastle, Australia. Okay, so look, I see that we've had a few people join this group this week. Welcome. I want to say welcome to my new members. It's been a while since I've done kind of an intro post. I don't think I've actually done one in years. Um, so because you know what? Things change. You change. So I think when I started this group, I was living in London. I was married. Um, and now, since then, I have relocated to Newcastle, Australia. I have had a child. Um, my business has changed a bit. I kind of took a break from it for a while, but I've, I've started this group a few years ago. So I look different. My life looks different. My business looks different. So I guess it's time to do a good introduction. If you're here, I assume, and if you're new, you are starting a business or you have a business or you have some ideas and you want some inspiration. What you're going to hear from me is um, a lot of my ramblings, but you know anything that I can do to inspire you to create a life and business on your terms. Uh, when I first started, I was doing life and like career coaching, uh, which was really fun. But as you progress and move on in your entrepreneurial journey, your services change and what you feel you want to offer changes. So now I do messaging, PR coaching, copywriting, anything that's going to help you establish your business in the online world. So I help people start their online businesses. I help them get their message out there. And let me tell you, now is never been a better time to start your business, ever. And I'm talking about an online business where you can work from people from all over the world, not just bricks and mortar. Um, have I worked with bricks and mortar? Yes, I have. But I have to say, I think it's a lot harder that way. I'm just going to say, that's not, my, that's not my jam. My jam is really helping people who have an online service or online business and helping them do it in a way that feels good to them. So Life in Her Terms is all about creating a life and a business and making money in a way that, yes, feels good, brings some service to the world, can help solve a big problem for somebody, but also it works for you. I'm not into working myself to the bone, but anyway, um, there is hustle and grind, but we can get into that later. What I wanted to share with you, and this is just quickly, I received a message uh, from someone who's actually part of this group, and it was really lovely, and she was talking about a blog that I wrote a long time ago when I was pregnant and I for some of you who may know who were part of this group I this was a total surprise we didn't expect this to happen but this is part of my part of my backstory I started this business um, I was in the UK I was working full-time doing a certain coaching certification and starting an online business it was a busy busy time it was great I loved it but it was like full-on right um, and I was doing really well, and I had the real mountaintop experience of, oh my God, this is happening, and the money's coming in, and it's so, so great. And then life happened. Um, and what does that mean? That means that we had a series of deaths within a few months of each other. And in one week, I had a call to say that one of my aunts had passed suddenly in the States. And so I flew to the States, and I had also just found out that I was pregnant. And, but I, we decided to, that I should go anyway. And I went and it turned out to be a double funeral because my uncle also passed away within a few days of losing my aunt. So my cousins lost both their parents within a 48 hour period. And then when I was coming back on the plane, I miscarried myself. So. That's not where the story begins, but that's just part of the journey. So I went from like, oh my gosh, I'm up here with the entrepreneur. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, the entrepreneur experience. And then something like that happens. And to say it through me is an understatement. It was just a really hard time for my family. It was a hard time for me. And then a few months later, my husband was offered this job back in Australia. And we were not even planning on going back. And I wasn't even planning on trying to have a baby again for some time. But I found myself pregnant again within a few months and we were also deciding to move back to Australia. So life, life happens guys. And the reason I'm sharing this with you, some of you may like, like, whoa, Rachel, TMI, too much information. We haven't even met yet. Well, that's me. I do share some stuff. I usually share after I've gone through it. If you've noticed, like I didn't really share at the time when that was happening because I was still processing it. And I think there's some wisdom in that, but anyway, 
But what I, the reason I'm sharing this with you is I ended up writing something while I was pregnant and it was called Confessions of a Pregnant Entrepreneur. If you're interested, I'm happy to post that here. But that's when my business mindset started changing in terms of how I wanted to work, what I wanted that to look like, all that kind of stuff. And I think since then, I was for a long time, I was figuring it out. I became a new mom. We had a lot of challenges around that. And it was just like new mom land is hard. We're two years into it now. And I feel like I'm just maybe getting a hold of myself again. <laughs> I say that and then, yeah, anyway. As soon as you think you have control of your child, they just, no. They, it's a joke. It's just a running joke. And you're the joke. Like, anyway. So, what am I trying to say? I had a reach out from someone saying, I read your blog and it really resonated with me. And I was like, thank you. And I went back to read it because I couldn't even remember what I said. And I was like, man, Rach, that's deep. But here's my message to you. When you come from a place of real authentic sharing, the right people will be attracted to in your message. Okay, this is the, this is the practical side of things. I believe in being strategic in your message and I help clients with that. But there, nothing can be you showing up and being real with parts of your journey. It doesn't mean you have to share everything. You could be protective of certain parts. But particularly after you've processed and learned the things, share it. You know, you have no idea how many people need to hear your story. They really do. I don't believe we just go through things because life is meant to be hard. I don't. I, I believe that we go through things so that, A, I can show someone a shortcut of how not to do things. And I can give them the pass. Like, hey, try this. This is a shorter, this is, this will help you get there. This will help you find freedom in a much shorter time frame. That is what we're meant to hear. Like that is what we're meant to do. So in whatever way that is for you, maybe you have a product you've created, um, or maybe you do coaching and, you know, a form of online service such as I do, but do not underestimate the power of putting yourself and your message in that because what people are craving now from businesses, and this is what I find really interesting from a marketing perspective, is people are craving authentic connection. They have more opportunities than ever to spend their money in a number of places. If you want someone who, if you want to buy a car from someone, for instance, I can guarantee you if there is someone with an Instagram following who shows up and doesn't just like show fancy ads about cars, but talk about their dealership and why they started it, they already have a heads up. They already have a foot up on someone else who's just showing fancy car ads. There's, and yes, you need to market what you do. You need to show what you do. It needs to be streamlined and professional. But there is something very powerful about showing up with your message and sharing parts of your story. People want that. They crave that. And by the way, they require it now. So if you are in an online business and you just think, it's not about me. No. It's about what you have to offer. It's about the service you have to offer. But your message is going to help set people free. So don't hide behind anything. Don't hide behind your website. Don't hide behind your funnel. Show up to your people. Okay? That's my message to you. I don't know who needs to hear it. And if you are a bit unsure about how to do that, send me a message. Because that's something I can help you with. And I can honestly say, I remember showing up doing my first Facebook Live. It was the scariest thing I think I've ever done. And I just did it in this group, by the way. I didn't even do it, like, in front of my Facebook friend. I did it, like, in a group setting. And I was still so, like, anxious about it. But that's how you start building up a client base. And, and, and that's how you start building up a following. That's how you start helping people. By showing up as you. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for anyone who needs to hear it. Don't be afraid of sharing parts of your story and parts that you've healed from, okay? Um, there's a lot more I can say about this if you're interested. I'm happy to share more. So A, that's a bit of an intro into me and a little bit of my story. But I also wanted just to say welcome. Welcome to our new members and have a look through the videos because there's a, archives of training there on a lot of different things. I share stuff on business, on marketing, on PR. I share stuff on spiritual things because I can't just hide that from me. That's a huge part of who I am and my lifestyle. So um, that's it for me. Please introduce yourselves. I would love to hear about your business or about your lifestyle while you join this group. And yeah, looking forward to connecting with you. Have an amazing Wednesday, and I will speak to you all soon. Much love. Bye.